how to market your salon in 2016 to get clients banging on the door to come into your salon. That's what we all want, right? We think that we're going to build this beautiful salon, we're going to spend some money fitting it out, and we're going to train our staff good, and word of mouth is just going to, they're just going to come in the door. It's not going to happen. They, that days are gone. We have to be clever. People have to know we exist. Just building and they will come doesn't cut it anymore. And it's your job as an owner to know this. It's your job as an owner to know how to attract clients. And if you don't know, you need to learn. It's part of being an owner of a salon. Just like teaching your staff and actually doing hair or, or doing beauty, everything you do as a salon owner, you need to know what to do. And marketing is one of them. You need to know that you have got clients that want to come into your door or call your salon. And if you don't know how to do that, you need to learn. I'm going to give you a quickie. Hi, I'm Richard McCabe. I'm from I Salon Coaching. It's I Salon Coaching Friday. Recently, I did a survey, and the biggest thing so far, I haven't finished going through them all yet, is marketing. People seem to think their marketing is not working. People think their marketing on social media is getting nothing at all. I'm going to tell you why that doesn't work. There is so much noise out there at the moment, like so many ads, they're everywhere that we're just shutting off. We do, we get in our car, we drive to work, we're on autopilot, we don't even look out anymore. And also when you look around, most people are on their phones. They're not looking up anymore, they're on their phones. So you've got to come to their phone. But anyway, the reason that people take note is the fact is that you are talking directly to them. You actually see the adverts at the moment, either they're super annoying, you never go to them, like the Bingley adverts, they drive me crazy. Never work, I, I purposely won't go just for the advert. Or there's an advert out there that catches you and you think, oh, I'm interested in that. I'll look up some more. So what you need to do is you need to know who is that ideal client of yours. By the way, by the way, just to let you know, marketing is the biggest issue. I built a six-week course on how to market your salon. It is the only marketing course that's built from a salon owner, coach, to salon owners. It's not, it's not for everybody. It's for salon owners. It, it teaches you, we talk about passive marketing and we talk about active marketing and hyperactive. I believe you need 10 forms of advertising every single day of your life. Okay, back to your ideal client. You need to know who this person is. We talk about the ideal client. We talk about client avatars. Who is this ideal client? She is in your salon as we speak now. She's in your database. Dig her out. Find out who she is. And then when you think who the ideal client is, find out what roughly her age is. Find out roughly where she lives. Find out what her habits are. What perfume does she like? And if you don't know the answers to these, ask her. It's as easy as that. Pick 10. Ask 10. And then you've got to figure out where do these people hang out. So once you've got your ideal client, you need to know. How to find them. Where do they hang out? What coffee shops do they go to? What newspapers do they read? What magazines do they read? Whatever it may be. You have to find them. That's your job. Find out who they are. Find out where they hang out. And guess what? You show up there. Because if you know who your ideal client is, you know how to find them, where they hang out, all you've got to do is show up. You see, all this, it's just the start. But once you find this, you're going to use this every single day of your life. It's easy. And then what you need to figure out is where to advertise, where they stand up, what are you going to use. You'll need to use buzzwords. What will actually make them attraction? What will actually make them take notice? The picture? The words, you know, what do these people, what do they need when they start looking for you? Why do they leave their salon? Is it because their juniors made their, their back of their um, clothes wet? Is it because the tint left a bit of stain on here? Is the coffee cup dirty? Is it because you're not listening to your clients? Why do they leave a salon and start looking for a new salon? Also, what you need to figure out is when they start looking for you, before they call you nowadays, you have to have something that you've never had before. 
They need to trust you. And you've got to have some cred. They're going to Google you and they're going to find reviews about you and you're going to have to stand that up. Well, guess what? What happens if you okay, worked on your testimonials? What happens if you had someone, you backed them all up, you know it's there. So when this person decides to go looking for you, hey, guess what? Guess what happens here? You've done all the backbone. It's there. As they're looking, you're telling your story so no one else needs to tell it. They're not guessing. So when they actually get to a stage where they actually want to call your salon, it's a 1960s phone. Okay. When they get a chance to call your salon, they know your prices, they know what you're good for, they know what your speciality is, they know what you do. It's just like the best word of mouth ever. And what you need to do, you need to do this times 10 continually over and over and over and over again. We pass this all up. You've got to talk in the language of your client nowadays. That's how you get it. You've got to build trust and credibility. Now, to do these things, it's a step-by-step -step process. It doesn't just happen. Nowadays, if this is all you're doing, really, you might as well go outside your salon and throw your money down the drain that's there. No one responds to ads anymore. I mean, I've said this many, many times. Marketing is dead. What's not dead is you finding your ideal client, find out where they hang out, you're going to show up, you're going to show them not necessarily an ad, you're going to show them that you are trustworthy, that you fix their problem, what they're looking for, you know, remember they've fallen out or they've got well, or they've got stains, whatever you think that client of yours, the ideal client, leaves the salon and goes elsewhere, they come with a problem. Think about when you do a consultation, what problem do they have, these new clients? They've got to trust and they've got to feel like you've got some credibility. They have to do that. Before they pick the phone up now, that has to be there. Because otherwise, these ads are just specials and we don't want to do that. So this is minimum. You can Google most of this and I think you can find this on Google really no matter what. If you want a step-by-step -step process how to do this, you're going to have to message me and get on my course because we teach this sort of every single day. A six-week course that we, we, we have at the moment will leave you with a six-month marketing program ready to go. You get up on Monday morning, you know what to do. You get up on Tuesday morning, you know what to do. You have to spend at least five minutes a day. You have plans in place. But the difference is, once the plan happens, I talk about this all the time. You have this motivation. Remember, we had this lady that's, that's actually pushing this snowball up the hill. Okay, You have to start that motivation. And this is all part of the motivation. One ad isn't a motivation at all. I'm talking you have to build all this in, build your foundation and work on it. You don't have to spend a lot of time. Five, five minutes a day should do it. Easy. But it has to be out there. You have, everything you do, and like I say, 10 forms of advertising, you'll see me all the time. I talk about it. You see, I'm not saying you put 10 adverts out at all. 10 adverts will cost you money. This is marketing on a shoestring. This is marketing. Passive means you build it, pay for it once, and it's done. That's like your A board, your signage, your, your retail shelf, t shirts, umbrellas. You go on and on. It's passive. The secret is you need to talk in their buzzwords. You need to know what they're looking for, and you need to show them that you can give it them. It's as easy as that. So, we have a step-by-step -step formula. We have all the tools and everything you can need. If you do struggle with your marketing and you want to do it right, you know, you're, you're tired of sitting there waiting. This marketing that I have is not designed for a shopping center. It's not for that. This is for one where someone comes to a salon, maybe around the corner, upstairs, down an alleyway, and you've got no passing trade. This is where you build this up because they will find you if you know what they, who they are, where they hang out, and really what's their biggest problem. What's their need that needs fixing now? What are their desires? What do they desire for the future? And when you master this, they stay a long time because you're not getting them in specials. You're not getting them on a whim. You've actually built up what you really do. Like the love in your salon is there and they know it before they call. So when they come in, they feel at home, which means they stay around longer and you get good clients. But it starts way back, way back when. You, know, you start putting this into action. Your marketing will just happen really on autopilot. It'll just happen over and over again. Clients will find you and clients will come in. But you need to back this up. It can't just happen overnight. 
So if you think my marketing plan that I created is just a Facebook advertising thing, you're so, so wrong. This is setting up something that's going to last you, hopefully, to the rest of your, your days as a salon owner. Hopefully you're going to use this again and again and again. And every six months, rewrite the next six months. Are you going to do some passive work? Are you going to do some hyperactives? Have you got quiet months that you really want to get some cash in so you can have this surplus in the bank? And don't forget what I really feel. The salon that can attract the most clients earns the most money. And I'll tell you why that is. Because you've got other people out there. So everyone likes to go to a busy place. No one likes to walk into an empty place. Your staff are motivated because you've got really good clients. And if you've got good clients, staff are usually happy to hang around. They like doing good clients. They don't want to do specials or, or anything else that goes through there. It just doesn't want to happen. So you've got this busy salon. Other salon owners are going to know you're busy. Their staff are going to know you're busy, which means your staff are going to get commission. And they're going to talk, which means when you put an advert in the paper, you're going to get snowed under with people who want to work for your salon. You've got this big, big busy salon where no one else has. The economy in your salon's growing because you're doing something about it. If you do nothing, you can just do the odd ad when you have a quiet week. You're not in charge. You're not a leader. You're just going to work and you do whatever happens. I like to be in control. I like to do all this. I've set this all up for me. I've set it up for my, my salons. I've done this over and over again with my eyes closed. It's so easy. But if you want the step-to-step -step formula, that's easy. If you want to do it yourself, Google it and have a go. Try and, try and implement it yourself. Google how to find your ideal client or your avatar. Find out. They'll have these questions for you. How do I find out what my client needs? It's all on the internet. It's free. You don't have to pay for it. But if you want to quick and fast track it and get someone like me who built it for you, you're going to have to invest in yourself. You're going to have to spend some spondulism, I'm afraid. You're going to have to speculate to accumulate. That's just the way it is. I have to make a living as well, you know. So... I hope that's helped you a little bit through here because there's no magic pill to getting your salon busy. It's lots and lots of little things like 10 times. Remember, we're doing 10 forms of advertising over and over and over again. You build that momentum. Once that momentum's flowing, your salon will get busy. It's easy once the ball is moving to keep it going. Start off with the foundations and build it all up. Then find out the buzzwords. Build yourself some foundations of rock. So when people Google you, you know, you need to have these sort of things all in place so it's all ready to go and you direct them. These people here, by the way, we have a plan. Once they come to this section here, we try and hold their hand and get them to see what we want to see, be it an advert, be it their web page, be it our prices, you know, so we can sort of sieve out the people we don't really want. And then we build some trust and some, and some credibility into what we do. And we tell them we, we know what their faults are. We know what their problems are. So we build it all our advertising to fix it. And guess what? When people see it, they go, that's what I've been looking for all this time. This salon down the road, why did I not know they are best? That's me. I want to feel comfy when I go there. All right, cool. Thanks. Thanks a lot for that. Uh, like I say, I sell on coaching. Keep sending them in, guys. Keep sending them. It's awesome. But I've got millions from this survey. Uh, well, not millions. Of exaggeration, but I've got an awful lot to keep me going for an awful long time. But it's always nice to hear from you guys. You know, I'm here for you and to help you on your account. Have a cracking Friday.